Good Friday morning, my friends. Pastor Kelly here with you for the Friday edition of Sound Bites. Hey, we've been talking since Monday about this dude called Ekestra Muthos, a, a spirit that likes to control human vocal cords. And we've been trying to give you some practical, uh, scriptural and practical application of that. I want to spend just one more four-minute little segment on that. Ephesians 2.2, 2, you used to live in sin like the rest of the world, obeying the devil. Um, the commander of the powers of the unseen world, he is a spirit at world in the hearts of those who refuse to obey God. Um, so think with me here. We've been talking about how the devil influenced Peter, how the devil influenced David, the census Israel on Wednesday. Um, maybe probably, the I would say in most human relationships, um, the closest relationships we have are also some of the most co conflict-ridden relationships we have, marriage, parental, parental relationships, family members, things like that. If you're going to say something to somebody that for the sole purpose of hurting them and tearing them down and elevating you or to cause damage to them because they cause damage to you, consider... Um, the fact that your your vocal cords might be being borrowed from another kingdom, especially if that person's part of the family of God. If somebody says something to you, words that hurt, then um, they might come from another kingdom. Think with me on that. If your words tear down or where words tear you down, they c might come from another kingdom. If words keep bringing up your past and your failures, and, and, and where you have fallen short, then I would almost guarantee those words come from another kingdom, which should cause us response on a couple different levels. First of all, I shouldn't give them a lot of credence because that kingdom is a counterfeit kingdom to the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God does not say that about us. He sees us complete. He sees us in a finished work. He sees us as um, a loved and adopted into a family. He doesn't see us as our past, our failure, our consistent sin, our besetting sin. No, he sees us as perfect because that's how he sees Jesus. And we have been given Jesus' righteousness, okay? And when we became born again, we didn't have a past. Um, if the words you're saying are consistently filled with blame, they might come from another kingdom. Um, if you hear words of bitterness and resentment, or you speak words of bitterness and resentment, they usually come from another kingdom. If words ascribe to you or you ascribe words to others, motives they may or may not have, or motives you may or may not have, consider that your vocal cords uh, might be coming from another kingdom, might be being borrowed right now, or the person speaking those words to you, might um, those vocal cords may be uh, borrowed coming from another kingdom. This is why it's important. We discern the origin of our words because that's how we communicate. Words are, are, are imperative to our, to our humanity. Consider the origin of your words. Consider what you speak. Consider what you hear. Consider what you speak and consider what you hear. And make sure that what you're listening to and what you're speaking comes from the right kingdom. Man, that's about all time we have right now. Father, bless these words and bless this time we have together. In Jesus' name, amen. And ask God for discernment. Pray for wisdom. He'll give it to you. He says he would. Bless you. Bye-bye.